very good morning to all respected principal vice principal deans heads of department senior faculty members my fellow colleagues and all my dear students on behalf of thakur college of engineering and technology i vidyadhari singh extend to you all a warm welcome to the inaugural function of the institutional internship 2020 of thakur college of engineering and technology as we all are aware that the global community has been in the fight against coronavirus crowds of people around the world are affected and countries are engaged in a battle to save the precious lives this crisis is unthinkable as well as unprecedented for mankind however losing heart or getting shattered is not the solution TCT has stood strong in this time and has been able to have fruitful engagement of faculty students staff and which has brought positivity around and also kept the spirit of learning alive amongst all of us as it has been rightly quoted by Dr APJ Abdul Kalam learning gives creativity creativity leads to thinking thinking provides knowledge and knowledge makes you great TCT believes strongly in this thought and provides many opportunities to encourage lifelong learning. With the rapid technological changes happening, TCT makes sure that their budding engineers are equipped with the right and trending skill set. Keeping in mind the current COVID-19 situation and also the need to keep pace with the technological changes, TCT has come up with this innovative idea to float this program institutional internship through online platform to the students so that they continue to learn enhance their skill set and de develop themselves in their respective domains with technology covering most of the industries today under its huge umbrella it has become mandatory to be skilled in the trending technology TCT institutional internships provides to it promises to impart the relevant knowledge workplace experience and the much needed technological skills through which the students will be able to apply this knowledge in real world environments which in turn will enhance their employability and make them industry ready at this juncture i wish to share the various tracks offered by the departments to begin with the department of computer engineering is offering the following six tracks data science using r programming machine learning image processing information security software testing and user experience design up next the department of mechanical engineering is offering the following five tracks fundamentals of ic engine and automobile thermal system design and optimization introduction to cnc programming introduction to mechanical mechanism and introduction to animation in blender 2.8x the department of electronics and telecommunications is offering the following five tracks namely as you know internet of things data networking and cyber security video making and digital marketing the department of civil engineering is offering the following tracks namely maintaining physical and mental health in the disaster condition extreme civil engineering autocad qcad traffic simulation and interior design the department of information technology is offering three tracks the website development databases and digital marketing the department of electronics engineering is also offering three tracks the electronic product development iot and embedded systems digital system design using fpga lastly uh, we have one track named social internship which is offered by the department of engineering sciences and humanities moving ahead in tune with the indian tradition it is customary to begin any event by offering invocation to the divine so let's start with our traditional auspicious reciting of saraswati vandana as a tribute 
to Mother Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge. On that note, I request Mrs. Purva Vaingankar, RTCT faculty, to recite the Saraswati Vandana. Ya Kundindu Tushar Har Dhavala Ya Shubhravastra Vruta Ya Veena Varadanda Manditakara Ya Shweta Padmasana Ya Brahmanchuta Shankara Prabhuti Bhir Devai Sada Vandita Samam Patu Saraswati Bhagavati Nishesha Jadya Paha Nishesha Jadya Paha Thank you, ma'am. Thank you all. I am pleased to inform you all that we are honored to have amongst us the gracious presence of our Honorable Principal, Dr. B.K. Mishra, Vice Principal Dr. Devain Shah, Dean Academics Dr. R.R. Sadamkar, Dean Research and Development Dr. Kamal Shah, and Dean Student and Staff Welfare Dr. Lochan Jolly. On behalf of all the viewers and participants, I extend a hearty welcome to all the respected dignitaries. On that note, I now request Dean Student and Staff Welfare, Dr. Lochin Jolly, to address all our participants. Good morning, everyone. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the inauguration of in-house internship. This is 60 hours of intense skill training program. This time, we are offering total 29 tracks, and the number of registered students is around 1,400. The journey of in-house internship is very interesting. We started in-house internship four years back as a pilot project where we offered only three tracks by one department. In the second year, few more departments joined and the tracks were increased to seven. Last year, we did it on a large scale where all the departments participated and around 13 tracks were offered. But still, we could not accommodate all the students who wanted to join the internship and could offer internship only to 450 students because of infrastructure limitations. And we promised in the validatory function to all the students that we will overcome this next time. As internship became a part of our credit system, we were supposed to provide internship to around 1,400 students in this semester. The task of accommodating 1,400 students was not an easy task. Before lockdown, we had planned in-house internship and thought of conducting it in two batches to accommodate all the students because of infrastructure limitations. But I would say lockdown gave us an opportunity to use technology and give an opportunity to all the students to be able to attend in-house internship, overcoming the infrastructure limitations. I consider this in-house internship as a milestone in the making of in-house internship. This medium requires sincerity from all the students and I hope all of you will take this very seriously and work hard to complete all the tasks given to you by your coordinators during this internship. And I thank you all coming for this inauguration function. Thank you. Thank you, Madam, for your encouraging words. Now, I request our Dean Research and Development, Dr. Kamal Shah, to share a few words with all of us. Good morning to you all. It gives me immense pleasure that today we are turning one more milestone in terms of online internship. PCAD always feels and do all the activity which are student-centric. In during lockdown, when everything is closed, we are doing this online internship which itself uh, deserves a big round of applause from all of us. Team TCET is working day and night to make this particular thing happen under the leadership of our principal sir and Dr. Lochin Jolly. So I congratulate all of them for making this thing successful. For any graduate uh, students who are graduating from engineering discipline, there are three components like knowledge, skill and attitude which need to be developed. 
During this internship, there are various tracks designed, around 29 tracks are designed for you. And you can take advantage of the knowledge given to you, the skill enhancement activity offered to you, and you can build upon your attitude. Because today now, uh, as our uh, PM says, that we all have to be atmanirkar and have to have, uh, support and promote the local body, local vendor. So this particular internship is giving a good opportunity to all the students and all the learners. You can design some innovative solutions during this internship for your local vendors and local problems. So this... Uh, Internship is giving you lots of opportunity. I really wish that you can use your tenure of internship in a fruitful manner. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am, for motivating all of us. I now request our Dean Academic, Dr. R. R. Sadamkar, to motivate our participants. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And you are going ahead with upskilling at par with the requirement of the industry. So, dear students, you take it as an opportunity and learn the things, uh, uh, whatever uh, uh, skills which are offered to you as you have taken taken these uh, skills as per your, uh, your <coughs> interest. You make this opportunity to the fullest and see to it that whatever ideas you have, those ideas are getting converted into a kind of a project. And those projects are useful to the society in a long term. And the learning doesn't stop. That is what is proved by ECET. And the student support is humongous. And we wish you all good luck to this particular learning opportunity in the form of internship. Thank you all. Wish you, wishing you all good luck once again. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your wise words. Now, I request our Honorable Vice Principal, Dr. Devan Shah, to encourage our participants. Good morning to all. Good morning, sir. So, I congratulate and appreciate effort of Dean SSW and her entire team, along with the faculties from the department, to plan this internship program very perfectly. In these internships, you are going to be interns where you are going to acquire a skill to be a potential employee for various MNCs. Now, current situation of lockdown has given many opportunity as correctly mentioned by Dean SSW, if we take it very positively. For example, in month of March, when the lockdown began, I thought as of now, I don't need to now travel 52 kilometers daily from my home to college and back. And also little administration work will be little less. So I will be going to utilize this time for technical upgradation of myself. And if I don't use this time effectively, I will never going to update myself in future. So which I done it. So you are in the same situation, what I believe. There is no exams now. All term works and orals are completed. College is going to open in month of August. So for you, this is going to be a golden opportunity. So please grab it, put your best effort so in terms, best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your motivational words. I now request our visionary principal, Dr. B.K. Mishra, to deliver the welcome address and inspire our participants. So good morning to all of you. Good morning, sir. So it's my great pleasure to welcome all the members, the students, the organizing committee members, and uh, the captain of... Uh, this team, Dr. Nochan. So it's a great opportunity for us to organize this online uh, internship. We all know that uh, necessity is the mother of invention. And inventions always it is in the phase-wise manner. So as it was pointed out by Dr. Lochan. This is our fourth internship where we have started with only three tracks and today we have 28 tracks. Now even if you will take 30 to 40 students per batch, so you will find that we were conducting the internship during the first batch 
which was around 120 students, not more than 150 students. At the most, it could be 150. But today, we have reached to 1400 plus, which is almost multiplied by 10. So, this indicates that if we think that we have to progress, we have to set the new milestones, then in that case, you will find that everybody is bound to progress in life. Milestones are going to be achieved and this milestone should be in proportionate with our needs, which is defined as a necessity. Now, if you will see the present scenario, okay, you are going to have the internship from your home. Internship, when it was introduced in the medical profession and then extended to engineering, then remaining professional courses, it's supposed to be on-site training programs. TCT, they, when they realize that we are not able to accommodate all the students in the industry, four years back, we felt the need of in-house internship. And then we started with that journey four years back. Now, year next to that, we were having how we can increase the spectrum of our activities. Lot of logistics were required, lot of supports from faculty members were required, supports from traders were required, involvement of the industries were involved, required. So, considering all those things, we have come to this end, where today we have 28 tracks, which is planned by all the departments. Every department is conducting one or the other internship and therefore nobody in the department, they are deprived of the internship. Whoever wish, particularly from first year and final year, a first year and second year, all are accommodated in the internship so that they can get the AICT credits. Now I have used the word necessity is the mother of invention. So second word is the invention. Okay. Invention is basically the evolving stage, which is in proportionate with our needs. So the needs today, if you will see, we have two needs. One is we have to complete the intensive for all, which is in compliance with EICT requirement. And the second need is we need to conduct the internship online mode. We cannot conduct an institute, we cannot send the student to industry. We need to conduct online so that most of the students should be there in their house. So see how the things are changing from industry to institute to home. And when I say home, you may be in any part of the world. If not today, maybe tomorrow also, if we need to conduct this internship for any part of the world, we will be in a position to conduct that. Now, this necessity of conducting online under this present scenario is because of COVID-19. Now, COVID-19, you will find that it has put up a lot of challenges to the society to the governments, to each and every individual. Crores and crores people all over the world, they are getting affected by this disease. But at the same time, if you will see, it has provided a lot of opportunities to us, which is not only going to change or reinvent ourselves for the future work, but also it is going to ensure that whatever changes will be there in the world, it will be for betterment of the life. For example, suppose today if we are working from home for the internship tomorrow, this practice may be adopted by the industry where they may introduce work from home. And therefore, you will find that if you are working for any organizations and if you have that or 
opportunity to work from home. You will find that you need not to travel for three hours and four hours every day to reach to your office. So you are going to save you a lot of energy, lot of money, lot of moderations, and then the failure to meet the commitment will not be there. At the same time, whatever the time, money, and energy lost that you can utilize for the productivity of your all actions. Now in the inaugural posting by Vidyadari Madam, she said, she quoted the Abdul Kalam's uh, quote, learning leads to creativity, to thinking, to knowledge, knowledge which can make you great. And therefore, we have to believe in creating the knowledge, which is the basic of everything. Knowledge will come from your academic practices. It will come from your laboratories. It will come from experiential type of knowledge will come when you are involved on site activities. And therefore, we find that the knowledge is to develop the ability, the skills, competency, competitiveness, and the most important is it develops the temperament. Temperament to do the work, to serve the society, to develop the leadership skills, to manage the organizations. So this temperament is very important. Now this knowledge become more significant if it is an engineering knowledge. Because engineers are known for their creativity. Today, you will find that more than 60% of the world populations, whatever the problems are coming, is derived from the engineering. Directly or indirectly in our all sorts of life, you will find that we are using the technology one way or the other way. The best example is your mobile phone, which is used by not only the exclusive class, but also it is used by the mass population. Okay. If this ability, skills, competency, and competitiveness, along with the right temperament, is developed in the students, they are best to, suited to the professional career, which is going to be followed with their graduation. Because these things will not only develop the graduate attributes, this will also help them to understand what is the need of the society, what is the need of the industry, what is the need of the organizations. And as a whole, what will be their role for all these things? What will be their responsibilities? So this career decides the role and responsibilities which sets the right temperament for taking up the jobs. So this engineering, as I told you, this is one of the important professional course which engineered our life by bringing a lot of innovations, inventions. And this is all possible because we are able to practice what we learn in the textbook, what we learn in the laboratories. And therefore, this internship is the another platform that has been provided to you and all of you should take the advantage of this, should utilize it for developing the knowledge so that you should be the better engineer, the engineer with the competitive age, the engineer who can face the challenges of the world. Okay. Now, when we say the challenges of the world, it is not only today, people earlier, they were talking about the employment, engagement, sustainability, all these things people were talking about, which is expected from the intellectual class, particularly the engineering graduates. Now people, they also started speaking about life after COVID-19, that is post COVID, what will be the life? And therefore, that is another avenues that has come. And we must work for that. And therefore, this internship, we must think on that line also, whatever activities we are doing, whatever learnings are developed, whatever knowledges are going to be developed in the process of two weeks, 
which is starting from today and will continue up to 29th. So in the process, you just try to link all this action with the life during COVID-19 and post COVID-19, which can be generalized as during the crisis and post crisis, because today it is COVID, tomorrow it may be some other uh, problems. Okay. Today it is a biological problems, which is created by the virus. Tomorrow it may be the technological problems. Let us say the entire ICT infrastructure in the world is hacked and nothing is working. The entire system has collapsed. So in that system, how we should work? So this is another challenge that has been given by this situation. So we have to see that what are the possibilities for crisis, how the crisis can be handled, what will be the proper planning for that, and then how it can be executed during the crisis and what will be the life after the crisis. So this would be the basic theme of our learning. Maybe if I am looking forward for the crisis based of learning from this intensive. So let me have uh, the past, present and future. So always we should keep these three things in our mind whenever we are learning things. Now intensive as is it's already told by the Dean SSW, Dr. Rochan, that we have the 60 hours intense training programs, which is to be done through online mode. Actually, it is 60 hours right now, it is designed, which is for two weeks, but the credits will be for 120 hours, which is as per the UGC guidelines. So, credit will be doubled, credit will be doubled, and each credit you will find that is equivalent to 40 to 45 hours. Okay, so by and large, you will find that the three credits will come out from this. So now to this, uh, because EICT also says about four to six weeks of internship. So this four week will come out from this 120 hours. Okay. Now, if you have any experience of uh, multicon, maybe attending the workshop or maybe other activities, involvement in the other activities, I think which has been told by many of, uh, uh, to many of you during uh, preparations, who were the volunteers, some credit supposed to come from there. So maybe around 30 to 40 hours, those who were actively engaged during those uh, period, Okay, may be added to that, so that in no case it will be less than four weeks, that is 120 hours, okay? And then if it is exceeding six weeks equivalent hours, then it will remain as six weeks. So maximum benefit will be giving only up to six weeks, okay? So all the students are required to keep this in mind, okay? Now, second year, particularly the students, those who are in uh, the second year, under the formal system, they may not have done the internship at the first year level. So whatever shortcomings are there, so that also need to be overcome. So as a whole, end of the four years, the internship must be around uh, 600 to 700 hours for all the UG students. So that we have to see that we have to complete the 600 minimum hours for the internship. Maximum is seven hours. Anything which is above seven hour, uh, 700 hours will be treated as 700 hours. Okay. So the credits will be for 600 to 700 hours for all the students who are currently in the first year and the second year. Third year and final year, it is taken as the audit type of course, audit activities, which is to be handled by the training and placement cell. And in that case, the certificate may be issued. So this uh, internship, if you'll see, it is very much branch oriented. Every department, they are doing one or the other internship and then students are joining. Okay, There may be some students who might be interested in multidisciplinary learning and they might have opted other department internships. Okay, But then believe me, wherever you are doing the internship, these 10 days 
should be very critical for every one of you. Critical in the sense that this will give you an opportunity to learn in the new environment. Students were always having the apprehension that what is learned in the textbook and what is required in the industry, there is a wide gap. So this gap is going to be addressed through this internship. So this is uh, one of the important programs. Then other members, they also spoke about the learning about the technology. Okay. Maybe developing the projects, which is as per the need of the industries, maybe for SME. As the India is opting for self-reliant, so self-reliant reliance will come only when we'll work with innovations and inventions. So this is an opportunity to develop the knowledge base for better tomorrow, where our students, particularly the TCT students, they should have the competitive edge wherever they go. They should not all only dependent on the jobs, but they should also be able to create the jobs. At the same time, every individual should have at least three skills that they can practice in their life. Because today, if you will see, during, because of this COVID and maybe in 2009 because of the recession, so whatever the skill sets people were having because of those two episodes, many people, they have become unemployed. Okay, so that should not be the part for the graduates, those who are coming out from the PCT. We must have any time the three skills and if we'll, because I always recommend the three level of operation, three level of learning, three level of, uh, you know, having the career and so on. So that any time, any crisis, if it comes in our life, we must able to sustain that. So that is a basic objective. The chance for failure, you will find that it is 0.01% if we have the three level of vision, if we have three level of learning, if we have three level of all actions, what, whatever we are doing. Okay. So lastly, now this programs, what, what we are seeing today supposed to be in-house internship to be organized in the institute. Faculty members, heads of the departments, deputy head, the coordinators, the committee members, the deans, particularly the dean SSW, who has taken the lead and we're doing the preparation for six months along with the committee members. And because of their effort, today we are able to have this in-house intensive. Now recently, the COVID has given rise to the situation where we cannot go to the institute. Everything is required to be done online so that it should be the distance mode, which is the future of the education. Now this distance mode must be driven by the technology. We were not tuned to this type of environment. We were not having the knowledge of this. In the past, we were hearing about the multinational companies, the HR persons or the captain of the industry, they used to chat or they used to have the meeting through this video conferencing, these, that. So it was like dream for us, which has come true because of this COVID-19. We have completed the coursework. We have completed the tumor summation in the online mode. We have conducted practical oral project, EBL, everything we have done through the technology. And now the people, they started talking about, it has broadened our scope of learning. Okay. Maybe the faculty members, maybe the students. And then it needs a lot of preparations. And when we prepare the things, automatically the perfection will come. Okay. So in normal class, suppose if I have taught the subjects and I'm teaching since last three, four years, it's a simply the repetition of the content in the classrooms. And therefore I may have the casual approach to present uh, the things. But then on the technology platforms where we are visible to the public, 
and therefore we should not have any mistake in our delivery we have to be perfect and perfection will come only if we will prepare with proper plan so people they have taken the initiatives we were quite successful in implementing all the activities starting from the online teaching learning to the conduct of practical oral ebl and project examinations we were prepared even for the theory examination and in between the government guidelines have come and we have taken the stand that will be abided by the government guidelines but then today i am happy to share with you that even we can conduct the theory exams through this uh, digital platforms where we have already understood how to create the mcq based question examination how to conduct the theory examinations which is uh, question answer based maybe the short questions maybe the long questions maybe the numericals okay so this is uh, how we are progressing so with this learning it has come to my mind that let me have uh, the online internship because this was the big challenge i discussed with the heads of the department the dean ssw the other deans the vice principal we have the core team where we discuss these things and then we arrived at the conclusion that we'll have this online activities for two weeks which is in alignment with the ugc guidelines without compromising the credits and the quality and the relevance of the programs and today we are presenting this for two weeks this is possible because of all these uh, faculty members maybe there could be the trainers from outside who has given the consent to conduct the training programs the senior leadership team so my big thanks to all of uh, these members who have contributed significantly to bring this to this stage now the most important as it was rightly pointed out by dean rnd that whatever we do at pct it is student centric and this program again we have made it as a student centric so this student centric activities we want the involvement and engagement if any gaps are there it should be immediately brought to our notice so that on daily basis we can review and we can brings the improvements because again we are conducting this programs for the first time in the online mode now there are a lot of technical staffs who are involved with this programs they were doing the testing setting the stage making the platform ready for this today so i thanks them all last but may not be the list all the stakeholders who have directly or indirectly supported this event i express my sincere thank to them and we are looking for the supports in future also so with these words i conclude my welcome address i wish you all the best good luck for two weeks of programs make it productive make it result oriented develops the rich learning let that learning leads to the knowledge so with these words thank you all wish you all the best thank you thank you so much sir for providing the details uh, regarding this internship and for always being encouraging and bringing about innovativeness in all that we do as it has been rightly said learning ignites curiosity and knowledge will bring you the opportunity to make a big difference now the time has come to learn and make a big difference with that we come to the end of the inaugural function i thank you all for being here with us today i wish each one and all will have a great learning experience and also make this program a huge success i would also like to inform you that the sessions would be held through the zoom application with their respective meeting id and password so i wish everyone a happy learning thank you all and have a wonderful day